I think it's just exciting to see uh, girls in that sort of position. I think those stories are very inspiring and very important to tell. And, uh, and, and they really can influence, you know, the, the younger generation in, in, in a way that we, we can't imagine. Welcome to a brand new episode of Pop Culture Planet, a video podcast centered around diverse voices and representation in Hollywood. I'm your host, Kristen Maldonado, a TV and film critic, content creator, and champion for inclusion. Today, we're speaking with director Manjari Bakajani about her new Disney Channel original movie, Spin, which is centered around an Indian American girl who finds a passion for music and DJing. We also discuss her Netflix film, Skater Girl, and her love for telling female-led stories. This is the first Disney Channel original movie outside of like the Cheetah Girls going to India that we really get to dive into this culture, but specifically from an Indian American girl's perspective. Can you tell us about Spin and what drew you to directing this project? The fact that, you know, I had an awesome opportunity to present the Indian culture to a mainstream audience, and especially the, the, the DCOM family, that was super exciting for me. I would love to hear specifically also uh, just about that message of music. I, I love that message of finding music in everyday things and how it connects her back to her mom. And I'd love to hear your, how you kind of brought that together. You know, it's amazing uh, that uh, music really brings people together. And it's a great way to access another culture. And it's a great way to sort of, you know, learn about another culture is through the music. And I think that became its sort of own character in the film. And it, became, it had its own palette in the film as, uh, as sort of Rhea's trajectory goes through in the film. And as Max is sort of, you know, also coming through the film. And, and, and that sort of, even the diversity in the music from like the electronic dance music, to sort of, uh, you know, Ria's eclectic, soulful music and the fusion of the two worlds, it, it really sort of forms the overall um, uh, uh, palette of the film. I found uh, Ria and Max's dynamic so interesting because you have this girl who is kind of underestimated when it comes to music and this white man basically kind of taking credit for her work. I'd love to hear about how that kind of storyline came about. That's exactly what it is. It is about somebody finding their own path and it is about somebody standing up for what they believe in. Even though, you know, some people might think, oh yeah, you know, she she's sort of, uh, you know, it's going to be a love story. She's going to fall for it. And then that's going to be the end of it. It's like, no, this is exactly the opposite. This is about how this girl stands up for what she believes in and goes out there and doesn't take an initial failure as a setback, but she takes it as, as sort of, you know, the, the, a catalyst to move forward. And I hope people take that away from, from the story rather than getting caught up in the, you know, she falls for the white boy stuff, because it's not about that. It's about how she takes what's hers and, and runs with it and really, you know, uh, uh, brings home that talent. And I think it's important also for everybody to have that support system like Rhea has, whether it's from friends or, you know, it's the it's the relationship with the grandma and, and the brother and the father. It's really sort of, um, uh, 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 you know, each one plays such an integral part in her becoming who she is, not just sort of with the two cultures that she's brought up with, but, uh, but that family dynamic as well that sort of supports her. I love that family dynamic. When she and her grandmother walk into that competition, yeah. I had chills. They looked so good. Oh my gosh. And then, you know, her performance was just incredible. And I loved that, you know, seeing her grandmother was so supportive of her. Yeah, it's amazing. Their, their relationship is like super, super fun. And, and uh, you know, I had a great relationship with my grandma and she was always encouraging and she'd be like, oh yeah, she's like anything I'd say, she's like, oh yeah, you can do it, you know? And that is kind of how uh, uh, Asha's character is where she's like, oh, you know, it's all music and you can go and get it, get it done. And, and I think sometimes we just need that little nudge. And, uh, and then, you know, Rhea goes and creates this really awesome eclectic music. What's also really fun about this is, is that idea that Rhea even thinks that like, she's like an analytical person who can't be creative. And then she kind yeah. of finds this different side to herself. Um, that's also still technically, you know, like technology based with, with the DJing, but is able to be expressive with, you know, music and create that way. So I thought that was really beautiful. That, that is so true. And, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because I feel that people who are good with music, their, their brains are structured in a certain way. So even, you know, Max says that to her that, oh, you know, like you're good with math and, and that helps in counting beats and that helps 
to sort of understand how these things melt together. So, so, so sometimes, you know, science and art is not very sort of far removed from each other. They'll find a common ground. Absolutely. And now you also just wrote and directed Skater Girl, which was amazing on Netflix. And, you know, is that something that you feel really compelled to do tell, you know, um, stories of Indian women? I think it's just powerful stories, you know, it's powerful stories to see whether it's a, a rural uh, girl uh, in India, or whether it's an Indian American, you know, here pursuing um, a DJing or it's or it's Prerna pursuing skateboarding. I think it's just exciting to see uh, girls in that sort of, you know, uh, in that sort of position where they think of, they're not sure of what they want and then they go after it and then they go and achieve it. I think those stories are very inspiring and very important to tell. And, uh, and, and they really can influence, you know, the, the younger generation in, in, in a way that we, we can't imagine. And I hope there are more of these stories. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what my next story will be, but, um, but, it's, uh, uh, but it's definitely characters and, and, and the stories that attract me uh, to telling them. It's so interesting because when you think about it, DJing, skateboarding, that can be seen as a very male dominated yeah. dominated field. And to see these you know, young Indian women succeeding in them and thriving in them, it's just so exciting. I, that's what I love to see. More, more diverse stories of you know, people in different spaces that like they are in, in real life, but we don't always get to see that on screen. Exactly. I mean, even with me and filmmaking, you know, it's, it's, considered to be a male dominated industry. And it's like, well, wait a second, here we are. <laughs> Have you found it difficult as a woman to break out into, into this field? I started with really early on knowing I wanted to be a filmmaker, even when I had no idea that, you know, it's a male dominated industry. But, uh, but yeah, I think once you sort of get out there and, and you are sort of trying to get your work out there, you realize that it's, uh, it, it is sometimes an uphill battle. Uh, but the times are changing and things are changing and people in leadership positions are now recognizing, you know, that it's important to get unique voices uh, behind the lens and, and, and tell these stories because it's a unique perspective we bring to the table. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. I love the film so much. I'm just like, I had chills. Oh, um, thank, so you. thank you so much for your time. If you like this one, you can check out more Pop Culture Planet right over here or on your favorite podcast listening platforms. See ya.